Okay, so this is free weight session four. This session will run every Thursday for the month of August. So the first station is face balls, uh, super set of single arm rolls. So when you do the face ball, you're gonna step back, you're gonna pull your shoulder blades back and down, and you're gonna pull the cable towards your face. Slowly come back to the start position. Very important, keep the elbows high, so it's a high roll position as you pull the cables in towards your face. We're gonna do 12 reps on the face balls. That's going to be super set at the end with single arm rows. So we're going to do single arm rows. We're going to have a split stance. You're going to pull your shoulder blade back and down. And you're going to row in, keeping your elbow close to your body. Only release the cable back to your elbow is locked out before you start the next one. So basically I'm not going to let the blocks go back down and tag. We lose tension on the back muscles, okay? You're going to maintain the tension and just go with your elbow locks out. Um, face balls will be 12 reps, and then this one's going to be 6 each side. The next station then is going to be um, an incline press drop set. So again, we're going to have a drop set with each um, free weight session for the months of August. Uh, today we're going to have an incline press drop set. So we're going to have 3 sets of dumbbells, set out, we're going to do 12 reps with a heavy set of dumbbells, and you're going to drop the weight down and stay at 12 reps with 3 sets of dumbbells. So the incline press technique, you're going to lie back on the incline bench, have the two weights at chest level, you're going to press up, your elbows are fully locked out, and you're going to slowly lower back down to the start position. Get a big stretch in your pecs before you start the next step. So 12 reps of each set of dumbbells. So as soon as I do 12, I drop the weight down um, and keep going. I've done three sets of 12 on the drop set. The next station there is going to be weighted knee raises. So we're going to place a dumbbell out in front. That can be you know 6 kilos, 4 kilos, 7s, right up to a 10. Um, for slow. We're going to pin the weight between our feet, we're going to have a deep breath in, tighten up the belly, and we're going to raise the knees up and line with your hips before you low, slowly lower back to the start position. Okay? So 12 weighted knee raises. If the weight knee raise is too difficult, just go on a body weight knee raise. That's going to be super set out of a wall vault. So we're going to do slams for 12 reps also. So you're going to squat down nice and low before slamming at the target. 12 reps on the walls. Don't see super set. The next one now is going to be a landline squat, okay? So you're going to bring the weight up, and align your chest, hold that tight position, feet hip width apart, before you're going to squat down, nice and low, driving back up through the heels. Keep the weight in against your chest, so you squat down, and then stand back up. 12 reps on the landline squat. Next station there, we've got TRX curls. Again, we're working on 12 reps. With the T-Rex curl, okay, we're going to have the elbows high, you're going to curl up, squeeze the bicep at the top before easing back to the start position and fully extending your arms, okay? Very important, we know the difference between a curl and a roll on the T-Rex, okay? So the most common fault we'll see is people turn the movement in to a rowing movement where they're pulling their body weight up rather than doing a bicep curl, okay? So just watch that one as you perform the movement. That's going to be super set with any choice of extension on the hammer curl bar. So you're going to bring the weight over your head, you're going to slowly lower behind the head, and then press back up using just the triceps. Very important not that the elbows flare out on this one, so you keep your elbows pointed forward, okay? So what we don't want is a finished position like so, okay? So 12 and 12 on those, and on the arm superset. The next one then is a shoulder superset, so we're going to have upright rolls on these bar. So your hands are in a narrow grip, you're going to pull up under your chin, elbows high, before slowly lowering back to the start position, okay? Don't let the bar drift away from your body, keep it in tight against your body, and you finish with it just under your chin. That's going to be super set down with forward raises, so you'll need to go a slightly wider grip, so your hands should be just wide on your hips, you're going to raise up the shoulder levels, pause for one second, before slowly lowering back to the start position. 12 and 12 on both these movements, okay? And it's a super set of set, it's gonna really hit the shoulders hard. The next one down outside is, last station of today's session, is a super set for the lower body, okay? So we're gonna do a wall sit for 60 seconds. If you wanna make it a weighted wall sit, you can. For now, I'm just gonna do a body weight wall sit, so you're gonna just go down and hold it, you're gonna count 60 seconds um, in your head, and then when you've done your 60 seconds, you're gonna straight away pop down, you're gonna do glute bridges for 60 reps, okay? So feet on the knees, elbows pressing the floor, make a fist, raise up, pause at the top, or slowly lowering 
back to the start position. You're gonna do 60 reps, not rushing the reps, make sure your form stays strong for each and every rep, okay? That's three weight test for four.